that will tell you that this resume actually got me it got me three jobs at the time it got me a job at a fit tech it got me a job at another company but it was more into outsourcing or um i do analysis for some for some business it was more like an outsourced um but like working on outsourced project right the third one was actually like for a data science role hello everyone welcome welcome my name is chirendu and i am a data analyst right and today as the title says i will be reviewing my very first resume that got me my first job as a data analyst at a fintech firm right back in lagos nigeria i think my resume will just be somewhere around here as i just scroll through um certain features it's actually a one-page resume i think it's something that we all should actually adopt when it comes to resume making as well as cv making right so um in my previous video i kind of buttressed how i yes i had a cs degree right however i was pretty much um into the hr space sort of so i literally had to work on personal projects as well as also gain a few experience that was required at the time right so my cv literally has a two is a two column page as you can see in here um and in there i have my name which is very important my name comes in first and um i put in my name my name my middle name as well as my son name, and then and i put them in capital letter so as well as my email address my official email address um don't go in there and think that oh you can just use a random email like Lil this or Lil Lil kitty at you go <laughs> all those funny email address that will work so i also put in my phone number um just so that i i mean just in case of anything you can always call me right if you're trying to recruit a uh, screen candidate then also a github link right so for those who literally are working on personal projects your github is actually like very very important because that's where you have like projects that you've worked on right so i put in my github link as well too as well as my medium at medium link because that that place also like showcase my articles right like i said i'm a tech technical writer so along the way what i've learned so far I actually do journal it on my medium so i have my cv um in two two ways i have education and i have um experience right so the education would just literally list everything that contains um either formal training just like going to the university or having a bsc degree right then even certifications as well so so it could be like true um data cap you know microsoft you know all those um relevant certifications that are important on the job I have that in there also trainings as well to so informal trainings that you may have had at the time right where you learned one or two things along the way that are relevant for the job i put it in there so i classified as education on one side and experience on the other side so this was like education here the experience here right i go on to then um have my formal education when i started school as well as when it ended as well as my um the computer science degree I mean, I was fortunate enough to have a computer science degree and also if you came out with a first class or a second class, put it in there, second class upper. It's not like it's necessary, but second class upper and first class. I think back then Nigeria, they were like the main thing, which I graduated in first class or a second class upper. So because I graduated with a second class upper, I put it in there because it was really like my, my certifications, right? So um, certifications. So they say certification actually increases employability. Not sure how true it is, but I think it's actually worthwhile to put in there if you do have um, certifications, right? So I did have certification data camp in the beginners at the intermediate level, as well as um, um, a, a Microsoft, right? Um, analyzing and analyzing data with Power BI as well. So I also then put in like the trainings as well as key skills, right? Because let me tell you something about applying for a job. There's something called ETS, right? Applicant tracking system. I, I think that's, that's the word. And there are some keyword that you need to have there that at least your that will get your resume scaled through to even the eye of the recruiter. Because data analyst, Microsoft Power BI has to be there because that's like a technical tool that is being used to visualize data. Very important. Either Microsoft Power BI or Tableau, or whatever visualization tool you're using, have it in there. Very important, right? They included by Python programming language, web scraping, yeah. Database management with SQL as well, too, right? It's very important. It can't be a data analyst. I don't know how to use SQL. 
to retrieve data, create data. Accolations with Power BI DAX, yes. Uh, Batplot Lib, right? So that's a Python package as well too. Then NumPy and Pandas also, um, these are tools used to analyze data. I'd worked on regression and classification but, um, project as well too. So these were skills I'd gained, personal skills I gained actually. So I also put it in there as a skill I had. So important, so whatever skill that you know will be relevant for the job, it's important you put it there. But then if you want to actually transition to this piece, right? Understand what skills your recruiter are looking for. It's as simple as typing LinkedIn, going to LinkedIn and Googling data analytics uh, job role, JDs, right? Check out what the skills are needed on the job and work towards it. Work on project, build projects, right? Work on this kind of project and ensure that you have skills that can highlight what you've worked on as well as your experience working on that project. That will give you an edge. Understand what the JD is like and then you can probably craft a resume to that standard. But work on projects, very important. <laughs> I mean, I can't really overemphasize that. Ensure you actually work on projects, right? Also have here the trainings I did. So I think my previous pre video, I had a lot of trainings. Like I had trainings back to back. I had a lot of trainings. So I put in my recycle training, my good African mentorship program, the data science track. I also put in the data trade program also went for everything on data if you watch my favorite previous video you've seen all these there i put it in there those were like trades if about trades i did have at the time so that literally highlighted my education so you can tell that i learned certain relevant skills but then the real thing is actually your experience right recruiters wants want to um know what ha have you worked on i mean you're coming to solve a problem for a company so what skill have you gained that are relevant to the job right so this is where your experience would come in right so either i have um personal projects outsource project that you had for clients or every project i had on the job if it relates to the job we are applying for please put it in there and then again for every different jd desk they are really unique um resume yeah, that you should actually i had have. my experience right and at the time, I'd already only worked in one particular place, and it was and in there. I worked on a wine quality prediction. I worked on um, I built a web scraper as well to to analyze and compare um, prices, right? So I think for that wine quality prediction, it was also around categorizing wine based on different wine stores as well. So because I mean, they were outsourced projects. So this is one of the things that I did on the job. Um, I mean, if I was really to critique this resume, question is, um, so what was the outcome, right? So there's something called a star model that I believe either Google or Microsoft has, that you talk about a scenario, a situation, the tax that was given, the action taken, and then the results, right? And what this means is it lets the recruiter see a process as to how you actually work on certain projects, right? Like you were in a special situation, this was the tax, what was the action, what do you take, what was the action you, you did, and there was the result at the end of it, right? Was it like an, a 10% increase? Did you help reduce certain um, costs as a result of this analysis? You and the idea as to what my first data that this um, resume. Then put some relevant skills. So, so relevant, right, I saw previous experience I had. So I was a community technical lead at a company and also as an Andela student ambassador. I think I'll just literally put, I mean, I think that's what I like, call my um, proud accomplishments I had at Adela and I'll just put it in here about the story. So if you want to read it, I'll just put the medium, yeah, medium article just here or, or down in my, in my description, right? Then I worked on a personal project. I worked on a WhatsApp, WhatsApp chat analyzer. And one thing I'll say, just starting out, it's really good for, I think someone asked that, do you need to learn to code, right, as a data analyst? So, um, in all states here, it's not entirely, I must say, but it is important you do have this, this, I mean, um, techno this knowledge, right? Now, this is because I, I believe it actually makes you stand out, right? It, even if it's just learning like little Python or R, literally gives you an edge, frankly speaking, right? So, please have one of these two other to order your tool be belt right right and then again the hackathon right i mean you can always check that i also went for the hackathon i have that school on my video as well too um i i 
with a team of five internally so what this shows here is that i worked with a team right so what that means is i worked with a team i learned so that's actually team collaboration that's very relevant on the job and then i perform ETLs or data from data sources yes so this also lets you know okay aside just do your normal visualization and query it right you're able to you learn how to perform uh extract transform and load data right this was certain um this is actually a skill set that at least at the basic just have a knowledge about how elt and etl works right? that queries to generate computed columns in power bi that's something you should learn how to do aside just your regular visualization i also had like some productivity tools and platform like slack trello i mean these are means by which different companies communicate eternally you're able to the extent of stakeholders as well to github act as well to very very about ms office google suit as a data analyst aside just technical tools you should learn how to also communicate as well to communicate your facts and insights insights to people who will be looking going through your data right this was i didn't have to use any software to build this resume this just literally using a regular excel sheet right and then either blurring out a line but ensuring that the text were all aligned right so that at one glance my employer either recruiter would have an idea at a glance and i will tell you that this resume actually got me it got me three jobs at the time it got me a job at a fintech it got me a job at another company but it was more into outsourcing or um and doing analysis for some for some business it was more like an outsourced um but like working on outsourced project right the third one was actually like for a data science role and if i could get uh, three job offers based on i believe that you could come up with something better work on it and then even land better offers as well too so yeah that is it for this youtube um, video thank you so much for stay tuned up to this very end so like i said you can always work on these formats this is not really the best i will tell you but still it landed me something pretty decent right it got my foot at the door because as i just crafted a very good resume one thing you should know is that you have to put yourself on the job right so thank you so much guys for joining today's session um hope you have a great and productive day please ensure to like share and ensure to also subscribe right because i really am all about impacting every one person who comes into this channel to learn one or two things right so have a very great day and see you next time. Bye.